Former Enron CEO Jeffrey Skilling could get out of prison early. He's currently serving a 24-year sentence for his part in the company's collapse. Six years after Skilling went to jail, the Justice Department said today it's considering a possible deal with Skilling that would shorten his sentence, though it's not clear by how much or even when a judge would make a decision. The government watchdogs are supposed to be in place to make sure corruption is stopped and your taxpayer money is looked after. Sometimes people and companies get away with it. Sometimes they don't. Eamon Javers is our watchdog, and he's keeping an eye out on where there might be fraud lurking. Eamon, I know you've been studying this for a while. What are you finding? Hi, Susie. Well, if you're an investor, a shareholder, or a taxpayer, there are people out there every day looking to separate you from your money. And now we're going to tell you who they are, bringing you the latest in alleged scams, frauds, and abuse. Think of it as a regular reminder to watch your money. This week, we've got two stories that could have affected you if you've got a mortgage or if you pay federal taxes. Just today, for example, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau announced four enforcement actions to end what it said were improper kickbacks paid by mortgage brokers to mortgage lenders. The proposals would require four national insurance companies to pay $15 million in penalties. So, Eamon, what did they allegedly do wrong there? I mean, tell us how this whole thing unfolded. Well, the CFPB says the insurance firms provided kickbacks to lenders by purchasing what were essentially worthless reinsurance that was designed to make a profit for those lenders. And that could have inflated the cost that homeowners paid in their mortgages every month. One of the firms, Genworth U.S. Mortgage Insurance, said it will pay $4.5 million. And the firm said it agreed to settle so we can, quote, focus our resources on working with customers. And here's a case where taxpayers were allegedly paying for something they never should have been paying for in the first place. The Department of Justice announced that Floor Hanfeld LLC has agreed to pay $1.1 million to settle allegations that it used federal taxpayer funds to pay for lobbying. The government says that Floor, an energy contractor, misused Department of Energy funds that were supposed to train first responders at a federal nuclear site. But instead of that training, the government says that Floor spent the money to lobby Congress for more federal funding. Floor says it did nothing wrong or unlawful in all of this and that it was prepared to show that its actions were known fully and overseen by Department of Energy officials. Now, we're going to keep watching for these stories. So if you see a good one out there, send it to us at NBR.com. Thanks to you guys. Back, back Thanks to you guys. so much, Eamon. Eamon Javers reporting from Washington.